So who doesn't want a huge pet, man? They're so cool. Look at it. They're like bigger than the normal pets, right? And they do more damage. So of course, everyone wants one of these. And today we're going to be talking about how you can get either your first huge pet or just more of them. Maybe you already have two, three, 10, 100, and you just want more. So in this video, we're going to cover all the different ways you can get a huge pet, including the easiest to the hardest. And then of course, you know, we're going to move into a little bit of the Robux side of things. Like how do you pay to win to get huge pets? And there's a couple ways you can do it. Now, my last video I did for this, I, uh, I kind of grinded for and I showed you a technique where you basically flip Christmas presents to be able to get money. And in turn, we saved up enough. I think, what, what did we save for like four and a half million? It was back when huges were a lot cheaper and we're not gonna be able to do that in a single sitting today. That's gonna take us probably about like 12 hours straight from a fresh account free to play to be able to get our first huge. And I don't know, I, I just don't really feel like doing a whole 12 hour video just to do that for you. I'm sorry, it's just not worth it, okay? Instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover all the different ways you can get them. So a lot of people are hatching this guy. There's 13,000 of them already. and and how they're hatching them is from the fishing area. I'm gonna show you the best tips on that and how to get this. There's also other ones like there's a fire horse. Uh, yeah, there's a huge fire horse. I don't have it. There's also a huge um, fossil. I don't think I have that one either, but there's a huge fossil dragon. There's also a golden angel dog, all kinds of stuff you can get for free. And of course you got the active huges, but we're gonna cover all those right now. Before I show you all these tips, please do me a solid hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. All right, so most videos are gonna tell you in order to be able to get your huge, you need to go over here to your achievements and you need to grind expensive stuff. 1 million breakables. That's a lot of breakables. There's also the 750,000 hatches plus, uh, what is it? Like a little bit, like 1.1 million hatched. And then of course, they're going to say, go and do this one as well, because um, 1 million breakables is going to give you three mil. So you're about like two thirds of the way. And then they're going to recommend, you know, maybe shiny hunter. I don't think that's worth it. Maybe this one, which is two mil, like doing enough upgrades, 7,500 potions is a lot. Super lightning, 1.7 mil. That's pretty good as well. But yeah, you could take that approach. You can also go after the flag ones so place down a thousand flags we're going to show you this which is three mil so there's even the chest hunter one let me find the chest hunter yeah so treasure hunter this one will give you a really good item which is worth 37 i mean it's worth a lot of huges but who's going to really spend the amount of time non-stop to do this is going to take you about a week all right so these are not the fastest ways but there's certainly a way for you to get enough money to be able to afford at least one huge up to maybe four or five huges depending on which achievement you're grinding for so yeah grinding for a huge is definitely the way to go that's pretty much how I would have done a video um, is grind all those achievements and be able to show you how to get your first huge. But that is several days of grinding. And in my opinion, the best way right now to get a lot of money to do that is going to be to hatch like really hard to get pets. All right. So currently everyone's grinding the index. So um, if you see like over here, shiny pets, like I've got a lot of these completed. So there's a sun and jealous that everyone's going crazy over. This thing's going for 13 million right now, 13 million gems. If you can hatch that, then you're golden, right? If you had someone offer on this, you probably could get two huges for it. Dino cat is highly sought after. There's only 29 in existence currently that are rainbow shiny. So everyone's freaking out about this one. This is probably worth more than the sun and jealous because at least with the sun and jealous, I mean, we have... 117 of those. So Dino Cat's highly sought after. Um, even the variants, by the way, like Goldens and Normals. So look at how many Normals are of the Dino Cat. Only 295 exist. I mean, that's crazy if you think about it. Sphinx isn't as rare, but 3,700 exists for that. You also have the Hellish Axolotl, which I don't even have yet. 617 of those. So what I would say is go over here and look for any pets in these eggs that are really hard to hatch. So um, King Cobras were a pain for me. It's only 1%, but they were a pain for me to get the all of the variants of shinies. I don't know why. The Tiki Dominus is really sought after. That's like really common one for my clan. Everyone's looking for the Tiki Dominus. So definitely consider that one. Fawn right here is highly sought after. Right here is Sphinx. Look at 0.7%. Dino Cat is crazy rare. It's like, it doesn't even tell you. It's probably like point like zero something. These are really hard as well. These Hydra Axolotls, these guys right here, they're really tough. I don't even have all of them. Ice Mortis is pretty rare. The Wyvern's rare. Demons are pretty rare. Um, Hellish Axolotls. The Cyborg Dominus, definitely rare. Ancient Dragon's definitely rare. Uh, the Night Beagle's really rare. Pajamas Cat is really annoyingly rare. <laughs> also, if you have any of the uh, the holiday, like the Christmas um, pets, they are super rare. Like any of these like Rudolphs, like these types, these are actually high in demand, especially like the gold variants. Um, I don't have a lot of them, but like candy cane, candy cane uni unicorns, candy canes. Those are all going for high demand. So you can get a lot of gems right now for them. You got unicorn kitten. Those are all pets you could be selling 
right now for a ton of gems to get your first huge, okay? That's probably one of the easiest ways. Granted, you need to, if you're gonna do this, make sure you're going after the shinies because no one really cares about the commons. I mean, they still like the commons, don't get me wrong. Like, Sphinx is kind of a pain to get. Like, everyone's still, you know, wanting those for their indexes. But make sure you go after all of these relics to help you with uh, hatching shinies. Without that, it's gonna be really, really, really hard for you to get shinies. So again, one of the easiest ways right now is just to grind gems. Pretty much a sure way to get it. You need about like seven mil right now for getting your first huge. It's gonna continue to, you know, rise. It just keeps going up and up and up. So make sure you go get them. The next easiest way for you to be able to get your first huge is gonna be at the fishing area. So there's two fishing areas in the game currently. There's the pirate tavern. This is the normal fishing area. It says right here, you have a chance for the huge Poseidon Corgi. Now I got this. I didn't get it at the regular fishing area. I got it at the advanced fishing area, which is over here in Cloud Forest. Unfortunately, I didn't get a video clip of it, but I have a screenshot right here to show you that I got it. And I got it in like less than, I think it was like less than 3000. And you can see, I only have like 51 million treats or tokens. My alt though, my uh, hardcore account, it just passed like 300 million. So just to give you an idea of the variability of this. Now you do want to grind for better rods and you do want to fish at the advanced area. So make sure you get to the advanced area, you know, prior as fast as you can. I have a quick tip for you, by the way, because this fishing rod, the platinum fishing rod is only 40,000 tokens. So I pretty much skipped an entire rod. The best rod at the normal fishing area is 100,000. You can see right here, it says iron fishing rod is 100,000. Thousand. Whereas the platinum, which is night and day better, is only 40,000. So as soon as you have that third rod and you save up 40,000, just come over here to the cloud forest and continue to grind. But like I said, this one is really, really easy to get. You just need to have the best rod to increase your chances. Last I heard, it's one in like 4,500. If you have the diamond rod, that's only for 4,500 legendary catches. Let me explain the legendary versus the basic catches, okay? So right here, if I cast, if it has the small bubbles like this, this is a basic catch. So it's gonna be really fast for us to be able to reel this in. One in three, you'll get the legendary, and that's when you get really giant bubbles. It's like on the average three, okay? It's not like guaranteed. We should have it within less than five. Next one here should be legendary. Yep, so see the sparkles? This one's gonna take a lot longer for us to reel in. So it's like 4,500 of these or 4,000 of these. That means if it's like one in three that you get a legendary, sometimes it's more. But say it's on average, you get it in like three, then it's gonna be like one in 12,000 um, catches. So here's another legendary, that's number two. Right now, the best way to, for you to check the number of um, catches you've done is go to your achievements and go to um, caught fish. And you can see I've caught, um, actually I've only caught uh, 2,100. So I'm on my second quest now. It does start over. So after you complete 300, it's gonna start at zero and you need to catch 2,500 more than the 300 you already did. So it's going to add up, right? So the total to complete this third one is obviously going to be what? 12,800. So now on my alt, AKA my hardcore accounts, I'm up to like 8,000 on this one. So I've done like somewhere around 10,500, 11,000 or whatever um, total fish caught because we're working with the amethyst. It's uh, I think it was like 7,500 or something like that with the amethyst rod. So just keep that in mind. It's It could be all the way up to like 20,000 until you reach like 500 million. Just keep grinding. If you uh, didn't know the diamond ones, how you obtain those is through your index rewards. I showed you that a little bit earlier. So if you want to like maximize your chance, you can get these diamond ones. Go to rewards here. They're not here. I would have to reset the server to be able to get them, but they're like 30. It's like this price. It's like 3,600. Um, and 80 tokens for you to be able to get the diamond fishing rod. You can also get the diamond um, shovel, but uh, just reset the server for uh, random rewards until you get them if you really want them. The next easiest one is going to be dig site over here. So again, this is the basic dig site right here. It gives you a chance to win this, which is the huge fossil dragon. And of course, all the advanced places are going to be better. Um, I think I have, or I had the best shovel here. Yeah, I've got like the platinum one right now for advance. Um, I need 1.2 million right now, but ultimately you can automate this this is just you know auto clicker central so just auto click until you can get as far down as you can and um, continue to upgrade your shovel so you can go further and of course break the chest you know so you can get that chance for that huge I don't know what the odds are for this one. I haven't seen that many people get those. And then the next one is going to be the wild horse. Now, the wild horse was said to be the best or easiest one to get, but I disagree with that because as soon as I complete chest rush, there's a timer and you have to wait hours to be able to do it again. Whereas like the other two examples I gave you, you can do them over and over and over again. You can overnight them. So it's minimal effort. This one's harder because you have to keep coming in and you have to actually do some effort. You have to run to the end. So yeah, I, I think uh, this one's a little bit harder. It is one of the most common ones you can get. But yeah, 
but having to grind this over and over and over would just be so exhausting. I would say this is probably my least favorite. The next way to get a huge is going to be the Stairway to Heaven, which is pretty much the rarest one you could possibly get. Like, look, it's a huge angel dog. It's golden. Only two exist currently. I think everyone pretty much gave up on this because they wasted hours and hours. Granted, it, it's got to be hard, right? If it was easy, then like anyone would do it. So this is going to be the hardest one for you to get in game currently. I would not recommend even trying that one unless you are really gutsy and want to, then go for it. Obviously, the next way to do it is going to be through hatching. So it's always the final, final egg. Also, you do need to have rebirth too to be able to unlock that. It just gives you the ability to hatch these guys. Um, they do rotate out. Um, sadly, these are really, really common, but who cares? It's a huge. In, the, in my opinion, I love them. Um, I still sell them usually because they continue to drop in value, but I still like them. But I do have the huge hunter right here which says increases the odds of hatching active huge pets by 2500 percent so if you don't have that game pass i would say don't even bother with this this takes like i would say non-stop hatching it could take you about like a week and a half to be able to get your first huge but that's 24 7 hatching now if you could do that then do it like seriously that is such a great way to get your first huge you can get a lot of huges this way a lot of my clan members during the clan battle did it that way um you can also free to play alt it so you can have multi-box if you need to but yeah that's like one of the easiest in my opinion besides grinding for it with the fishing area this is one of the easiest ways to get it without any work is what i'm trying to say literally just auto hatch for like a week non-stop and you'll probably get a huge pet the next way you can get a huge is through the huge atron you can see it says create huge pets and how you do that is you um turn in these like uh exclusives right so what these pets are going to give you on point wise is you know shown on the top left you got some like these shinies are going to give you more rainbows will always give you more the actual pets like like rarity will give you more so this one the emoji monkey but you got to make sure you pay attention to the actual value or REP of these. Like the, the eggs currently going for 12 mil. The pets themselves are not going for 12 mil. Okay. So if you were to open this egg, it would be really silly. What you should do is if you do make this, make sure you sell the egg for 12 mil, go get your huge and get money back. Right. So that's kind of the approach I would take, but make sure you pay attention to the REP cost, like the total, you got to add everything up. So currently this is three, 3.3 mil plus two. That's like six mil currently. And we're only, we're not even halfway so generally speaking this has not been worth it um it's always better just to go and sell these pets directly than it is to like use them as part of this now unless you're doing content or a video but for the most part the huge tron is bad news it's it's you can do it like if you don't want to have to go to the trading plaza um you can certainly do it but uh, why just go to the trading plaza sell your pets use the gems to buy your huge it's going to be so much better than like sacrificing those uh exclusives now another way to do it is through trades um i don't have an example here for you but you could trade with other people um so maybe you have a bunch of stuff that they want so you could say like dude i've got like you know a mystery ticket that's worth 5.9 mil they're actually probably going to continue to go up but i got a mystery ticket i'm going to trade you this plus i'm going to trade you you know maybe you have some other rare stuff that they want maybe the, you got like presents or maybe you got a bunch of spinny wheel tickets you're going to offer with that you could do like a value trade with someone for a huge especially if it's a highly sought after item you know maybe you got like a a couple lucky block enchants maybe you got like a chest mimic for 23 mil you can get a bunch of huges for one of these trading is like underutilized in my opinion you just can't ask people to like please give me a huge for two million you gotta actually trade for it. You got to have something that they want and you could probably get one. Just make sure you're, you know, be careful with your trades. Make sure you know your value. Another way to get huges is through PetSimX. It's kind of weird being in here, but you can use this pet box here to transfer huges that have not been transferred. I have no huges that haven't been transferred yet, but if you have a lot of money, so I only have 308 billion here, that's not going to give me a huge because everyone's like spending trillions right now. But if you have like a lot of uh, gems in this game or even just untransferred like exclusives or huges, you could transfer them over to PetSim99. You should probably already know that. But if you do go in here, just pay close attention to these icons. See this little exclamation mark? You can even hover over it and it'll tell you if it's transferred. If it's transferred, you cannot transfer it again, okay? But you can see this one's going for like trillions. These are all going for like a lot of money. Finally, let's get into some of the pay to win methods to get a ton of huges, especially if you have that extra money or Robux. If you're going to do this, don't open the eggs. I'm re I repeat, do not open these eggs, okay? So what you're going to do, you're going to buy your eggs. These are the best deals right here. Um, it doesn't matter if you buy, obviously, 100 or 10. They're the same price. I'm just going to go ahead and do this one, which is 100 eggs. What you're going to do is you're going to go, instead of opening these, you're not going to open them. I repeat, you're not going to open them um, because it's really 
rare for you to be able to open a huge. It feels good. Don't get me wrong. It feels good to, you know, open a huge or hatch a huge. If you sell the eggs, you can go and buy the same exact huge as you would have hatched and guarantee that you're going to get the huge that you want. You don't have to like gamble. There's no gambling involved here. So you're going to go in here. You're going to go make a listing. You're going to grab that egg. Uh, REP right here says 2.35. You could probably get more. Usually you want to try to push it a little bit. These pets are going for anywhere between 11 million to 16.5 million. Assuming they're not projected, they probably are. So if we sold 10 eggs, just 10 of these eggs, we would get two huges. So you're pretty much guaranteed every five eggs, you're going to get a huge. Why would you risk like opening 20 eggs only to get a chance at maybe one huge? Like you're not guaranteed a huge, even 20 eggs. This is the way to do it. All right. Let someone else have the crazy gambling addiction. All right. So we sold all those. Let's go and find an emoji. Huge. Let's do uh, I don't have the emoji monkey yet. So let's go get it. All right, they got a monkey for 16. That's a good price. So I didn't have the huge emoji monkey, so we got it, except it has agility. Big rip, but that's fine. That's fine. I don't really care about the um, charms anyway. And finally, the way I like it, which is merch. So yep, you can go and buy merch on their official site. So when you buy it, you'll come down here and it says official pet simulator merch redeem now. So you buy a plush or something. That's a great way to get huges. You can also get Titanics doing this. So you can see you can get uh, Lucky Block right here. This comes with like a variety of possible huges so all these different plushes plus you get the huge version of them they do cost a bit so they're like 49.99 for each of those i mean it's a great way for you to be able to get a bunch of huges if you wanted to so of course if you wanted a titanic instead this is the best way to get them i mean it's 250 bucks but instead of buying you know 100 eggs for 320 dollars, you could spend 250 dollars and you can get a titanic i mean you're pretty much guaranteed a titanic this is the best way to get titanics i know we're talking about huges but it's gonna be way better than huges plus you can always trade this out for like 70 plus huges so um um, plus, a lot of the times you can trade Titanic for Titanic. So if you maybe you want this Titanic, go buy the merch version um, and then trade it out for a Titanic emoji corgi. Or like I said, get your huges, get a ton of huges. Anyway, that's a great way for you to be able to get lots and lots of wealth in the game. Granted, it is expensive. But in any case, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this helps you. Hope you get your first huge or your second or third or hundredth or thousandth, whichever you want. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like my videos. Until next time, happy grinding. Peace.